Yeah, there's some sort of fluid on that. Ahoy hoy and welcome back to Gavin's Grotty Guitars. This week is something uh, which will be recognisable to people about my age. When you say it's a Strat, it's a Strat copy. Well, it's an interesting Strat copy because of uh, where it's been made, really. It's a Sun O bracket, 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 bracket Mustang. Now, Sun O bracket, 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 bracket. Don't they make amps? Yes, they did in the 70s and 80s. They made rather, well, well sought after ones now. Um, the younger and hipper members of the viewership might say, isn't Sunno bracket, 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 um, that rather trendy death metal band or doom metal or grunge or sludge metal, or whatever you want to call it. Yes, yes, it's that amazing band with astonishing covers and um, the first new genre of metal I've heard in yonks. Takes a bit of getting used to. I love it. But um, some very little stuff. However, I digress. That looks very much like a Strat Kevin. Yes, it really does. It really does because Sun, from what I remember, was one of the first companies to be given the rights to, or paid for the rights, I guess, to copy the Stratocaster and make them in India. Well, how come I've never heard of this before? Well, you have now. And they made these. They made these affordable copies of Strats and Telecasters. Probably some others as well. I'm not really certain. And they are what they are. They're affordable for the 80s and copies of classic guitars. This one really is quite grotty. Um, and needs a bit of a clean up. I'll probably have to do that later. The thing that hits you straight out of the box, as it were, was this weighs a ton. This weighs more than my Les Pauls. I have no idea what timber this is, but it is absolutely weighs more than any guitar I've owned including ones made out of you know solid walnut and what have you it feels like somebody's almost got a shell here opened up a cap and filled it with sand and water in order to make it this heavy i've got a you know acrylic perspex guitar which doesn't weigh as much as this uh, this has obviously been in the wars there's lots of marks on the back of the neck uh, it's missing the back plate, it's missing a selector knob. All the plastics have aged rather nicely. The electronics haven't. What you can hear already is that they're clearly very low output pickups and shitty electronics, sorry, poor electronics. But it does its job. If you are a young player, wanting your first guitar, this wouldn't be a bad one to go for. I think the body is slightly smaller. Certainly the belly cut is rather pronounced here. I mean, certainly my belly is rather pronounced as well, but 
and the angle of that arm carve seems a bit further round than I'm used to. Trim's a bit odd as well, but I'm not sure why. So, certainly this should be the next guitar on my repair bench to repair all sorts of things and clean it up. But uh, it would probably require most of the electronics replacing. And I'm not sure whether that's the right thing to do. Whether just to keep it as a relic of the 80s or to uh, clean it up and make get it back as close to new as I can. Let me know underneath. Let me know if you ever had a Sun Mustang. Nothing wrong with that at all. Although, for a beginner's guitar, I think the weight would probably put you off. Well, that's another one from the history books. Look forward to seeing you next time. And see what else I've got in uh, my storage cans. Well, the output jack certainly doesn't uh, need tightening.